So let's experiment with the mixins in Bootstrap. Basically, with mixins, you can make uh, more semantic layouts. You can get rid of uh, row and all the classes that you can use to structure the page. And mixins are used in query processors like SAS or less makes it like a programming language. So I'm just going to start by downloading the file and just as usual we'll put it in the downloads folder, unzip it and I'm just going to quickly make the structure of the a project but before that I need this folder called less and this contains basically everything I need. In the downloads section, the downloads folder I'm just going to make a project for a folder for our project and paste the less folder in there and start the base of the project with the index.html file nothing really fancy there now here the only difference is that I'm going to use less instead of CSS so you just need forward slash less for your link and I'm going to make a file called main the less and I'm going to basically put everything in there and here using the less import directive I'm going to import the bootstrap less file which basically loads all the things necessary for bootstrap to work and as you can see here the more import statements for importing other files that bootstrap is dependent on and as you can see here is the mixins file. So now with this line I've imported everything that I need. In addition I'll need also the list compiler and you would get that from lesscss.org. I'm just going to quickly download this. I'm going to put that in my web project and I'm just going to call less. So quickly I'm going to add this right here call I just call it I think I just call it um, list.js if I'm not wrong yeah it's right there so now this is not going to work because I'm not serving it um, from Apache or something like that so if you want to get that to work just get map if you're on Mac or get XAMPP if you are on Windows XAMPP to Google XAMPP you get the Catch your friends and you can download there. In Windows, once you install that and you run ZAMP, you can start Apache from there, from the control panel, and it will start a local server for you at localhost. And these are the files that you can add to the root of the server in C, ZAMP, and HP Docs. Basically, you can put stuff here. It's basically the same idea in Mac but the address is different. It's going to be in applications folder, in the map folder and hdocs. You can put everything there. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the project that we just did in downloads folder and I'm just going to copy and paste it in here, right there. And I'm going to reload it in Sublime. Let me get rid of these. I'm going to quickly reload it here that and then just to do a quick test I'm going to do a very simple CSS nothing really crazy but just to see if it's working before anything I need to run map so I'm just gonna start a servers in a start it's gonna start in localhost 8888 or 8 I'm gonna go there localhost and web project Oops, I think I got the name wrong. So let me quickly fix that. Here, I named this one. So this has to be main.less. And oops, let's refresh that. And that's all good. So now we're ready to go. We're going to quickly make a very simple layout. Okay, basically I've made a very simple layout here and what we want to do here, we want to remove these um, classes, row, column, and well, and we want to use mixins and make it more semantic. So let's start with row. 
I'm going to remove the class and just give it an ID and just, I'm just going to call it section. This is a specific section and I'm going to use the selector and select that. And here, here's a magic. You can include the mix is less with a dot sign. I'm sorry, dot notation. And then use the mix -ins provided by bootstrap. And you can see all of them here in mix -ins dot less. If I go all the way down, make row. As you can see here, this makes a row for you. And that's that. Let's get, a re get rid of these as well. I'm going to give this ID of left side and select it here. And I'm going to use the mixin called make large column. And you can pass in the number of columns that you want uh, as like a function. Just for fun, I'm just going to change well to promo and I'm going to use the row class just like that. And here, let's also get rid of this quickly. I'm going to use right side selected and just give it six columns. And I hope you liked it. I'm going to put the code in the description in case you needed it.